As a next step for our project, we need to edit uh, the settings pi and add some simple GPT settings uh, for token blacklisting and uh, all sorts of things related to simple GPT. And let's just quickly do it uh, as. Well, let's just. Where's my. Right, 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 right. right. Mm, so, first thing first, we need to add uh, the REST framework our, to our installed apps. And then uh, we need to uh, enable token blacklist from a simple GVT. I'll just quickly save it. Uh, the next thing is um, <laughs> next thing is to add a uh, risk framework things uh, settings. <coughs> Let's check. Mm -hmm. Where to put? Maybe here. <laughs> nice. Uh, so by uh, default permission uh, classes for our race framework for now it will uh, be as allow any and default uh, authentication classes uh, should be from um, simple GBT side. So uh, that's uh, that's a basic uh, change for our settings pi. So uh, this is. Default authentication classes is from simple GBT and it should be G, uh, GBT uh, or GWT authentication. Uh, the next thing uh, was just um, think about it, uh, what we have remained here. Right, uh, the URLs. So by, uh, by default, simple GBT package will uh, give you an endpoint as a read endpoint. Uh, to get uh, the access token and even to uh, refresh these uh, tokens, so we need to but uh, we need to add this to uh, your also global URLs dot pi file, and uh, for that reason let's go to the config and URLs dot pi, and here I'm going to import uh, the REST framework simple GBT views, the token obtain pair view, and token refresh view. This will return the uh, uh, token pair. Uh, for us. Uh, the next thing uh, is to add this. Uh, to add this, uh, the roads. So what uh, I have typed here is uh, uh, when somebody slash API slash uh, v1 and token, it, uh, it's going to call this token update pair view and the name uh, is a token update pair. Uh, the next is to uh, add the same thing for token Mm -hmm. uh, for token refresh, so it will call the token refresh view uh, uh, as a view, and the token name is a token refresh. Uh, the, uh, the next thing is that we need to add our users URL, a users URL after uh, adding the users endpoints. Uh, this should be the next thing. But let's just quickly uh, migrate and. Uh, yeah, the seven unapplied migrations, we need to migrate them. Uh, it's going to create a token blacklist, uh, um, uh, the table in, in, in the database, because we are going to use it to blacklist uh, when you log out or expire the tokens. Uh, that's the change for our simple GVT. And uh, in fact, we can even um, run server. Uh, and in fact, we can even uh, we can even check this. So API v1 and token, yeah, takes a set of user credential and returns an access and uh, the refresh JSON web token pair to prove the authentication of uh, this, mm, yeah, and of those credentials. So we need to send the email and the password, and then get back the token. Let's just quickly check it if um, if it works uh, as you see uh, I, I typed uh, the super my super user credentials email and password and it returns a refresh token and the access token so this is uh, extremely easy and useful to use with simple GBT there is no need to create and uh, separate uh, custom endpoints for uh, refreshing and getting back uh, the tokens yeah, pretty simple. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, we need to implement, uh, I assume, login, logout, register, and some other uh, endpoints for our user model.
yeah yeah this, this should be next so see you in the next video